American Psychiatric Association, Wikipedia article audio. 800, Main Avenue Southwest Suite 900. The American Psychiatric Association is the main professional organization of psychiatrists and trainee psychiatrists in the United States, and the largest psychiatric organization in the world. Its some 37,800 members are mainly American but some are international. The association publishes various journals and pamphlets, as well as the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. The DSM codifies psychiatric conditions and is used worldwide as a guide for diagnosing disorders. History Development of the DSM The organization has its headquarters in Washington, D.C. At a meeting in 1844 in Philadelphia, 13 superintendents and organizers of insane asylums and hospitals formed the Association of Medical Superintendents of American Institutions for the Insane. The group included Thomas Kirkbride, creator of the asylum model which was used throughout the United States. The group was chartered to focus primarily on the administration of hospitals and how that affected the care of patients, as opposed to conducting research or promoting the profession. In 1893, the organization changed its name to the American Medico-Psychological Association. In 1921, the association changed that name to the present American Psychiatric Association. The association was incorporated in 1927. The cover of the publication Semicentennial Proceedings of the American Medical Psychological Association, which the association distributed in 1894 at its 50th annual meeting in Philadelphia contained the first depiction of the association's official seal. The seal has undergone several changes since that time. The present seal is a round medallion with a purported likeness of Benjamin Rush's profile and 13 stars over his head to represent the 13 founders of the organization. The outer ring contains the words American Psychiatric Association 1844. Russia's name and an MD are below the picture. Organization and Membership An Association History of the Seal States The choice of Rush for the Seal reflects his place in history. Rush's practice of psychiatry was based on bleeding, purging, and the use of the tranquilizer chair and gyrator. By 1844 these practices were considered erroneous and abandoned. Rush, however, was the first American to study mental disorder in a systematic manner, and he is considered the father of American psychiatry. Publications and Campaigns In 2015, the association adopted a new logo that depicts the serpent entwined rod of Asclepius superimposed over the image of two hemispheres of a human brain. The logo appears next to the words American Psychiatric Association, with the word psychiatric in bold type. The tagline Medical Leadership for Mind, Brain, and Body appears below the logo. The association will continue to use the seal bearing Rush's profile for ceremonial purposes and for some internal documents. In 1948, APA formed a small task force to create a new standardized psychiatric classification system. This resulted in the 1952 publication of the first DSM. In 1965 a new task force of 10 people developed DSM-2, published in 1968. DSM-3 was published in 1980, after a larger process involving some 600 clinicians. The book was 494 pages long, including 265 diagnostic categories 
and it sold nearly half a million copies. APA published a revised DSM-3R in 1987 and DSM-IV in 1994, the latter selling nearly a million copies by the end of 2000. DSM-4TR with minor revisions was published in 2000. DSM-5 was published on May 18, 2013. In the early 1970s, activists campaigned against the DSM classification of homosexuality as a mental disorder, protesting at APA offices and at annual meetings from 1970 to 1973. In 1973 the Board of Trustees voted to remove homosexuality as a disorder category from the DSM, a decision ratified by a majority of the general APA membership the following year. A category of sexual orientation disturbance was introduced in its place in 1974, and then replaced in the 1980 DSM-3 with egotistonic sexual orientation. That was removed in 1987. Top 5 Choosing Wisely Recommendations In 2002, amidst increasing concern to differentiate themselves from clinical psychologists, the APA Assembly membership voted against a proposed name change to the American Psychiatric Medical Association. Notable Figures Dr. Saul Levin was named on May 15, 2013, as the new Chief Executive Officer and Medical Director of the APA, making him the first known openly gay person to head the APA. Drug Company Ties APA is led by the President of the American Psychiatric Association and a Board of Trustees with an Executive Committee. APA reports that its membership is primarily medical specialists who are qualified, or in the process of becoming qualified, as psychiatrists. The basic eligibility requirement is completion of a residency program in psychiatry accredited by the Residency Review Committee for Psychiatry of the Accreditation Council for Graduate Medical Education, the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Canada or the American Osteopathic Association. Applicants for membership must also hold a valid medical license and provide one reference who is an APA member. Controversies APA holds an annual conference attended by a U.S. and international audience. APA is made up of some 76 district associations throughout the country. APA position statements, clinical practice guidelines, and descriptions of its core diagnostic manual are published. APA publishes several journals focused on different areas of psychiatry, for example, academic, clinical practice, or news. In coordination with the American Board of Internal Medicine, the APA proposes five recommendations for physicians and patients. The list was compiled by members of the Council on Research and Quality Care. The APA places a primary focus on antipsychotic medications due to a rapid increase in sales, from $9.6 billion in 2004 to $18.5 billion in 2011. In his book Anatomy of an Epidemic, Robert Whitaker described the partnership that has developed between the APA and pharmaceutical companies since the 1980s. APA has come to depend on pharmaceutical money. The drug companies endowed continuing education and psychiatric grand rounds at hospitals. They funded a political action committee in 1982 to lobby Congress. The industry helped to pay for the APA's media training workshops. It was able to turn psychiatrists at top schools into speakers, and although the doctors felt they were independents, they rehearsed their speeches and likely would not be invited back if they discussed drug side effects. 
thought leaders became the experts quoted in the media. As Marcia Angel wrote in the New England Journal of Medicine, thought leaders could agree to be listed as an author of ghostwritten articles, and she cites Thomas Bodenheimer and David Rothman who describe the extent of the drug industry's involvement with doctors. The New York Times published a summary about antipsychotic medications in October 2010. Notes In 2008, for the first time, Senator Charles Grassley asked the APA to disclose how much of its annual budget came from drug industry funds. The APA said that industry contributed 28% of its budget mainly through paid advertising in APA journals and funds for continuing medical education. In the 1964 election, Fact magazine polled American Psychiatric Association members on whether Barry Goldwater was fit to be president and published The Unconscious of a Conservative, a special issue on the mind of Barry Goldwater. This led to a ban on the diagnosis of a public figure by psychiatrists who have not performed an examination or been authorized to release information by the patient. This became the Goldwater Rule. Supported by various funding sources, the APA and its members have played major roles in examining points of contention in the field and addressing uncertainties as to the nature of psychiatric illness and its treatment as well as the relationship of mental health concerns to those of the community more broadly. Controversies have related to anti-psychiatry and disability rights campaigners, who regularly protest at American Psychiatric Association offices or meetings. In 1971, members of the Gay Liberation Front organization sabotaged an APA conference in San Francisco. In 2003 activists from Mind Freedom International staged a 21-day hunger strike, protesting at a perceived unjustified biomedical focus and challenging APA to provide evidence of the widespread claim that mental disorders are due to chemical imbalances in the brain. APA published a position statement in response and the two organizations exchanged views on the evidence. There was controversy when it emerged that U.S. psychologists and psychiatrists were helping interrogators in Guantanamo and other U.S. facilities to torture detainees. The American Psychiatric Association released a policy statement that psychiatrists should not take a direct part in interrogation of particular prisoners but could offer general advice on the possible medical and psychological effects of particular techniques and conditions of interrogation, and on other areas within their professional expertise. The APA's DSM came under criticism from autism specialists Tony Atwood and Simon Baron Cohen for proposing the elimination of Asperger's syndrome as a disorder and replacing it with an autism spectrum severity scale. Roy Richard Grinker wrote a controversial editorial for the New York Times expressing support for the proposal. The APA president in 2005, Stephen Scharfstein, caused controversy when, although praising the pharmaceutical industry, he argued that American psychiatry had allowed the biopsychosocial model to become the bio-bio-bio model and accepted kickbacks and bribes from pharmaceutical companies leading to the overuse of medication and neglect of other approaches. In 2008 APA became a focus of congressional investigations regarding the way that money from the pharmaceutical industry can shape the practices of non-profit organizations that purport to be independent in their viewpoints and actions. The drug industry accounted in 2006 for about 30% of the association's $62.5 million in financing half through drug advertisements in its journals and meeting exhibits, and the other half sponsoring fellowships, conferences, and industry symposiums at its annual meeting. APA is considering its response to increasingly intense scrutiny and questions about conflicts of interest.
The APA president of 2009-10, Alan Schatzberg, also came under fire after he was identified as the principal investigator on a federal study into the drug Mifepristone for use as an antidepressant being developed by Corsept Therapeutics, a company Schatzberg had himself created and in which he had several millions of dollars worth of stock.